Kentucky this summer. This will be the fourth consecutive year. Yeah, while most residents welcome the move to expand outdoor dining and retail, as Denver 7's Russell Haythorn reports, others say the road closure is making it harder to keep businesses accessible. All along F Street in Salida, I keep my door open in the summer because it's so beautiful out. You can find the businesses and the people. It has a real town feel that give this small town its charm. I've been here for 20 years. It's fun. We've been in Salida now for uh, 28 years. This is some of the aquamarine that was found this summer. Here, you can find some real gems. Let's try to stick with all natural gemstones. That's kind of what my love is. Not just the shiny kinds, but the people too. I moved here in 1962. This is a quaint, neat little laid back town. I've been a florist, a telephone operator. <laughs> Donna Troutman has been coming to see Donna Martinez for years. Get to meet all kinds of people, and I know their pets, their family, everybody. I keep them all. It's those friendships and businesses that make small towns so special. So my husband and I have been doing art shows for a good 26 years full time. It's mine and my husband's work, all these pieces. That sense of community is why so many people care about what happens on this street. If you close the road, you're closing parking. Closing off the street makes it real difficult for me to get around downtown. The proposal for this summer is to shut down F Street for a fourth straight year. We started doing this in COVID. It's nice. It promotes people coming. They put pergola up. It certainly gives restaurants a little breathing room, expanding patios onto the streets. The governor uh, put forth an executive order which gave us the ability to do so. And at the time, you know, I think back to March and April of 2020, um, yeah, the restaurants were really, really struggling. Business owners like Nicole Brin still support it. You can sit outside and just relax a little bit more. Don't have to worry about the kids, which is nice. But there are others who say it's getting old. That's getting a little too old. I think with COVID it was okay, but to continue it on and on is not. I do have some clients that will not come down here because of the street closures. I hate it. It makes it difficult for the senior citizens. I don't think the closures are good for the business community. At Kravonic Jewelers, owner Mark Kravonic is still on the fence about the street closure. It's hard to determine whether or not we've actually seen if, if the closure is beneficial financially. The new Salida mayor says he hears those concerns. Obviously, there were people that were unhappy with it, and I respect that. But he says there's an overwhelming majority here who support it. So we did uh, surveys and we got really remarkable response. I mean, this is a town of about 6,000 people. We got approximately 1,200 survey responses. And of those, 80% of respondents either uh, supported it or strongly supported it. I think they pick a very select 80%. The mayor says 80% of the town favors the closure. Do you think that's accurate? No. I don't believe it, no. What, are you, what would you say? I think about maybe 50%. I would say it's too close to call. Yeah. Honestly, it's probably 50-50. Whatever the case, it's a debate that will continue, not only in beautiful Salida. I think we need to get back to normal. It's time. But in small towns and big cities across the state. I don't know, I just, I personally like it. With photojournalist Jacob Curtis in Salida, Russell Haythorn. Denver 7.